Hello buddy, welcome back to Stray. In this one we're gonna get the Sneakity Trophy. This requires us to get through Nico City, Nico City, Nico Factory, and then the um, next kind of sequence where we have to sneak back into Clementine's flat without getting any of these to turn yellow on us, so we need to not get spotted at all as we go through here. A tip for anybody following, if you do happen to trip one, you can reload from the last checkpoint, and that is still going to allow you to get the um, trophy without having to restart all the way back from the factory. So. First up then, we're going to just get used to hiding in boxes. We're going to hide in this one. It's not really required, but it just makes me feel better. Um, and then as this kind of comes over to the left, we're going to move on over this way. Out here, we're going to wait for this one to turn left, and then we're going to go into that box you can see directly across the water. Once it comes back towards us, we're going to go straight out across barrels and through the door straight on behind the uh, planks here I don't know why it always seems to work out that I can pretty much go straight ahead here get this tripped one over to the left this next part then, I find it easier to come on all the way over to the right to kind of get into this worker's shadow and then we can follow this across like this. Because I don't know whether or not you'll have done this, we'll cover the worker keys. Obviously, if you've already done the worker, tree, worker key trophy and then reloaded the chapter, you won't need to do this part. But it's not too difficult, so we might as well include it. Oops, unless it's already facing towards me. That would have been bad. Let's go and drop these off over here. Like so. Sorry, I'm talking quiet. I feel like I'm I'm stealthing here. Oh, this is going to be bad timing for me, isn't it? All right, so we need to wait back here. So when it goes to that other end, it does face towards these barrels. We need to wait for it to go back to the left. Then we can just squeeze through this way. So, I suppose we might as well cover everything, so we'll go ahead and uh, do the puzzle inside, just because it's better for continuity that way. Don't think we can trip anything specific in here, and it's only the robots that control the trophy. So inside, we're going to want to hack this. to the fence. You need to get it closer, just kind of have a bit of a, a wiggle around. There we go, turn it off now. Jump on there. Get on over the top. Jump on this other one. Unlock that. Hack this one. We'll bring that straight over. To do is roll the barrel onto the one that's just over there. That allows us to get the battery. This isn't as alarming as you might think it is. We're just going to escape real quick. Take the bucket. Ooh. 
we are out of here. Onward for the next part. Let's see if I can do all this in one go without any cuts. That'd be amazing. When was the last? Yeah, the last checkpoint was right there. So if we get caught, I can literally just reset and we'll be all fine. The police officer isn't of any consequence. We're just going to go straight past. So you want to start out by getting here. You can kind of go either of the two directions here, realistically speaking. Get up to the top. Now we want to go to the right hand side here. No, not the right hand side. I have a severe lack of patience. This is where I'm most likely to mess up. I'm going to opt for this though. I don't think we can get straight across, can we? No. It's not quite so nice. I want to go over to this right-hand side. Now, when this one's just gone over that way, this might be a little bit too tight, but you can see there's a just about see the green bit of the box peeking out there. That's where we're going to go. I want to make sure this doesn't turn towards us. I don't think it does, but... We're just going to stay like this. And get in here. That's probably the most difficult bit, really. Uh, does this one patrol? No. Yes. Okay, then, so just on the stairs here. I don't know what the pattern for this is supposed to be. I did run up, and for some reason it turned around on me right here. I've just been washing it for a couple of minutes, and it doesn't seem to turn now. Which is real strange. I don't know why it did that to me. In any case, we come up the stairs. And we're just going to hit the uh, hit this here, and then move on across. I don't know if you guys are going to want to see where all the clues are, but I'll include them anyway. That way, if you guys want to see, then we can definitely do that right now. So the first one is where are we here? Gonna be the pink one. Then we wanna come and scratch on the uh, cloth here. Can be a little bit awkward, we just kinda like need to come over this way and then face back at it and we should get the prompt to start climbing on up. Inspect this. And head on down. And then we want to go, we need the mannequin with the cone on its head. And the last one should be love lamp in the kitchen. It's up on the upper shelf here. Ooh. This is the one that took me the longest to find. Come here. Now all that's left is for us to make our escape. It's way easier, because, um, where are we? We should be able to jump down here, look. Wait for the right moment. And there we have it. When you finish the chapter, you'll now have your sneakity, um, trophy. Hope that helps you guys out, and I'll see you all in the next video.